kids, look, it's our solar system. That's right, do you know what a solar system is? It consists of the sun and planets. This is our gorgeous sun. We've drawn a circle for the main part and triangles for the rays. We're going to do it yellow. A lovely bright yellow, happy sun. Now what colour do you think we should do the rays? Gold, what a great idea. Yellow and gold. The sun is very, very, very hot and very, very, very big and it lives in the middle of our solar system. And now the planets and the planets rotate around it. Let's start with the first planet closest to the sun. Again drawing a circle. Isn't it amazing how each and every planet that we know of is a circle shape? Imagine if planets weren't round. Imagine if they were square shaped or triangle, even a hexagon. Wouldn't that be strange? But yet they're all perfectly round. So we're doing brown for these segments. We've segmented some parts off. And then we're going for a kind of light golden colour in between. It looks a bit rocky and dry. I guess that's because it's so close to the sun, it must be super hot. Now can you guess the name of this planet? Have a think. It is... Mercury! That's right, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. What is Mercury's neighbour? Hmm, squiggly line down the middle, some semicircles. Looks interesting. We're going for a peach on the left side, going around the semicircles. That peachy, rosy, sort of pink colour, isn't it? And that maybe represents that it's a little bit warm there. Some pink for the oval shapes. And the other side. Yes, I think this planet is rosy warm because it is also quite close to the sun. Beautiful! Isn't she gorgeous? Now do you know the name of this planet? Can you guess? It's Venus! That's right! Venus is the second closest planet to the sun and it's bigger than Mercury. Now see if you can guess what this planet is. Third planet to the sun. We call it third rock from the sun. Now we're going for green for these segments. Hmm, looks like it could be some sort of land, perhaps forest or even grassland. And we're going for a lovely dark blue for the rest of it. Hmm, perhaps that's water. Hey, I know a planet that's made up of mostly water. It's known as the Blue Planet. But do you know its other name? Yes, it's Earth. It's our planet. We live on the third rock from the sun. And isn't she beautiful? Now, who is our next door neighbour? Hmm. This is a planet that we've been exploring lately. We've even sent a robot there. Yes, to have a look around. It's smaller than our planet. And it's covered in red dust. And rock. So we're going to do red. We've made some stripes and we're doing red every other stripe and then some peachy pink in between. So I think that this planet is rather hot and dry. I'm not quite sure I'd want to live there, would you? Since our planet is so beautiful. What's it called? Mars! That's right! Fourth planet from the sun is Mars and it's quite a bit smaller than ours. Now what is the fifth planet to the sun? Any guesses? We're doing some stripes. We're going for brown to start off with. Lovely, so perhaps this is a kind of rocky planet, what do you think? Big stripe at the bottom is brown too. Now let's go for a deeper brown. I love the use of different shades of the same colour, don't you? It's very effective. 
Now the center can be a paler color, so we're going for a kind of goldy yellow. Lovely. Now which planet is this? Jupiter! That's right! The fifth planet from the sun and Jupiter is big! Let's go for Jupiter's neighbour now. Very interesting, look! It has rings! Now I can tell you that these rings are made up of gases. There may even be some rocks in the rings called an astro belt. Asteroid belt. We're going for a peachy beige colour. This one's also got stripes, as you can see. And we're going to now do it on the rings. Now let's add some yellowy gold. There we go. This planet is paler than Jupiter, isn't it? Now do you know the name of the planet which has rings? It's a big planet, a very big planet. It begins with the letter S. Can you think what it could be? That's right, it is Saturn! Saturn is the planet which has rings and it lives next to Jupiter. Now we're going to go for a smaller planet. This one is going to have some oval spots. And we're going to go for blue. That's right, we're going for a light blue colour. Perhaps this planet is a little bit cold on the surface. What do you think? Because it's not very close to the sun. And I'm sure that the further away you get from the sun, the colder it must be. Because the sun is like the heating for us. Brilliant, let's do the oval shapes. Dark blue. Lovely. This one is called Uranus. That's right. There you go. And last but not least, the eighth planet from the sun. Now I'm guessing that this one is going to be super cold too. Let's go for dark blue. Yes. We've done diagonal stripes and we're painting every other stripe. Excellent. Right, going for a lighter blue in between. Maybe there's ice on these planets if they have water. Or maybe they're just made of gases. Voila! There you have it. It's Neptune! And you have done the entire solar system as we know it. Who knows, maybe there are more planets, but you've got the sun in the middle and then your eight planets that we know of that go around and around the sun. And here is our planet, Earth. Wow, she's lovely. Don't you think it is absolutely amazing that these planets go round and round the sun and don't bump into each other? Can you imagine? Wow. Look at our beautiful solar system. And there are many, many more just like it. Subscribe and watch more. Cheeky Art!